Are you looking for some sneaky, deep dynasty type picks that we don't want many people to know about, but could end up blossoming to being something very, very valuable for your fantasy team? I have four picks for you in this video. You don't want to miss this. Let's get to it. So the first guy we're going to be talking about is none other than Jarrett Stidham, who is the, now the quarterback for the Denver Broncos. You see, he was drafted by the New England Patriots in 2019. Then he was traded to the Raiders last season. Now he signed a two year deal with the Broncos. Sean Payton has been on record saying that he believes Stidham can be a starting quarterback type of caliber player in the NFL. You see the last two games last season, one was against the 49ers where he was 23 of 34 for 365 yards and three touchdowns. And then it was against the Chiefs, which was 22 of 36 for 219 yards and a touchdown. He just needs to develop more and to be able to see the field a little bit better, being a little bit more patient with throws, but he has all the tools needed for success in the NFL. See, Sean Payton isn't tied to Russell Wilson right now. And if he can develop Jared Siddham, he could be a very deep sleeper you can get him for almost nothing the last pick of your deep 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 dynasty pick and he could be something that blossoms he could be nothing but he could blossom for your fantasy team let's move over to the next guy that i'm going to be talking about and that's going to be jerome ford he's the running back for the cleveland browns you see kareem hunt most likely he's gone he's out of there nick chubb needs another back to compliment him hey, he's a second year player you know he started at alabama and then he transferred to cincinnati he's a really good running back you know i mean uh, at a senior year he rushed for 215 times for 1319 yards so he can get it done on the ground he is a fast running back running a 446 at the combine he was a fifth round pick in the 22 NFL draft so he has some decent draft capital now Jerome Ford possibly moving into that RB2 type of role with the Browns and who knows if, if starts Chubb gets a little long in the tooth in a couple years you never know Jerome Ford could sweep on in and be the number one running back for the Cleveland Browns which would give him immense value for your fantasy team. Now let's go ahead and stay there with the Cleveland Browns and let's talk about Elijah Moore. He was a second round draft pick by the New York Jets in 2021. He fell out of that number one wide receiver spot when Garrett Wilson uh, came on board last season. He was drafted a rookie and he lit the world on fire. So now he's traded uh, to the Browns along uh, to, with the Jets third round pick for a second round pick. So he should be in a battle for the wide receiver two with Donovan People Jones and behind number one, Amari Cooper. I think he could be a very nice target for Deshaun Watson. I do see him beating out Donovan People Jones, and he should be able to produce pretty highly in your flex spot or even a wide receiver three spot if you have three receivers on your team uh, for your fantasy team next season. Now, let's talk about the last guy we're going to go over today, and that's going to be Jelani Woods. He's the tight end out of the Indianapolis Colts. He could have been a lot better last year, but let's just face it, he had no quarterback play. They had Matt Ryan. He was not able to do anything for your fantasy team or anybody around him for the fantasy, so that kind of didn't count. Right, Jelani Woods, he has a high athletic profile. He's six foot seven, run a four six one at the NFL Combine. He was a third round pick in the 22 NFL draft, which is amazing draft pedigree for him. He is showing flashes of what he can do in some of these weeks. I mean, he's somebody that could be a wow type of player for your team. Right now, he's fighting Mo Alley Cox and Colin Granson for reps, but I believe as time goes on, Jelani Woods should win that job and be the number one tight end for the Indianapolis Colts. Last season, he played 29 percent of the snaps uh, last season, but I think that number will grow maybe even in the 30s to 35 percent. He should be able to go start getting more and more reps. And I'm telling you, at six foot seven and four six forty, this guy should be on your roster. He can catch the ball and he's got good hands. Now, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys want to hit that subscribe button, leave some comments down below. Tell me what you guys think about the four people that I picked out so far. But we got tons of stuff dropping for you guys, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.